The past few weeks have felt like a disorientating fever dream. Days pass slowly, but life moves quickly. Common knowledge says to build your life, so we use some of our days to figure out what that means. Common knowledge also says to enjoy life, so we celebrate. And that's fun and feels good until the ink dries up and the fun feels less fun. What starts in celebration when unchecked often leaves me asking myself, how did this happen? How did I let myself get so lost? And how do I find my way back? So first of all, who am I? The short answer is I'm both this guy and I am also this guy. And somewhere in between, I've lost my way. And by my way, I don't mean the path I'm going down, the big goal I'm trying to accomplish, or the track I'm picking, like I'm choosing a starter Pokemon. What I mean by my way is how I carry myself getting there. To put simply, I think a way is how you live a life that you're proud of. For me, that means acting kindly. It means working hard. It means aligning my actions with my values and setting the type of example of the type of person I would want in this world, just to name a few. And I know my way will look different than yours. Because even if we're after the same thing, we don't just walk with our feet towards the goal, but we do it with our entire lives how we've been shaped, the values we carry, the values we aspire to have. It's different. But the thing is, we both can feel when we're a little lost. And sometimes we know we're lost, either by just knowing ourselves really well, but mostly through feeling. Usually it's something we discover, a specific moment of realization that something just doesn't feel right. For me, it's when I notice my mind and my body feel heavy. When I constantly search for distractions, almost as if my mind knows that if it gets too much peace, too much peace to reflect, it'll have to admit just how lost I really am. And those moments of peace between distractions are something like a whisper. Sometimes I pretend to myself that I don't hear it. But the moment of realization always comes once I listen to the whisper. And when I do, it tells me just how far I've gone astray, what direction I need to go. You know, the whisper is a funny thing. It promises a version of us of a life that we're proud of. It's a challenge that the strongest version of ourselves can easily conquer, but only the weakest version of us can accept. Once you hear the whisper, the choice to accept or decline, either way, it's never easy. It's never comfortable. It's asking to pick, to choose between living more of the same easy, distracted days while more of our life passes by, or to leap blindly over an invisible gap that seems impossible to cross and just have faith that a future version of us will pick up the slack and thank you for jumping later. When you listen for the whisper, now what did it ask of you? You know you lost your man. So the question next is, how do you find your way back? Sometimes when you're stuck long enough, the person you used to be feels like a distant memory. But if you heard the whisper and accepted the challenge, that means it's time to draw a line in the sand and say that enough is enough. Who I used to be whether it was intentional or if I drifted into who I was, it's my history. And maybe that's what makes redefining the person you want to be so painful and beautiful at the same time. It's accepting this part of your life is over, but being excited by the potential of the version of you potentially living a life that you could be proud of. And over the years, I discovered something about myself when it comes to making big decisions like deciding what it means to live a life I'm proud of, or deciding who I want to become and what's worth that sacrifice. 
what I discovered is simple and almost a little cliche, but I like to make decisions when I'm rested and caffeinated. Okay, so to reorient ourselves and find our way back, we need a North Star. For me, I'll follow this simple formula. Goals, actions, character. With this, we can reverse engineer who we want to be based off what we want to accomplish. So if the goal is where the path takes us, how we get there is our way. You know, here's an example of some of mine. There are some goals that a lot of people might share, then the actions required range from just enough to maybe hit my goals and doing everything I can so failure is virtually impossible. Then I need to ask myself what type of person I need to become that would consistently follow through with these actions. What do they value? What type of mindsets would this person have? How would they react to challenges and you know what would they spend their time money and attention on sometimes these can be uncomfortable questions to answer because it means i need to accept just how incongruent i've been but that comes with the territory of accepting where you're at and admitting you're lost it's cliche but finding your way and using this as your north star isn't about hitting your goals it's about gaining a higher sense of awareness of who you are now and what you're capable of so you're able to overcome the new obstacles in a way. Because if there weren't obstacles, I'd probably already be that person now. But it demands change and friction is expected. This process changes who you've been to who you want to become. And this, and this is character development. This is how you'll find your way. Once we're closer to who we can be, it won't feel like a grind. But until then, we need to accept our growing pains. Our way isn't about where we end up. It's about how we choose to live our lives in the face of obstacles, adversity, and setbacks. If you feel lost, like you've lost your way, I'm sorry, it sucks. And realistically, even if you find your way again, there's gonna be more setbacks and more obstacles to overcome. It's not going to be easy and it's not supposed to be. But even if we have to take a loss, don't lose the lesson. The more familiar the whisper becomes, the easier this whole thing gets. Finding our way back might just be the most important skill we ever choose to learn. And that, that's something we can be grateful for. You got this. Cool party trick, bro. Watch this, really. Ooh, <laughs> give him the bubble gun. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself? I'm guilty. I'm innocent. Which is it? I'm, I'm, I'm innocent. Did you or did you not use this against your mother? I'm innocent. Then, why, Addison, is the bubble gun empty? Because you used it all. Mm. The first part is... Dang. Fog machine did this. How cool was that? Oh. Okay, maybe that was a bad idea.